Right, so we're now doing worksheet 11.11. .11. This is the last worksheet we're going to do before your assignment. So make sure you've got a nice heading. All right, Kate and John's first plan was a shed with a skillion roof. So that means a duck sort of goes to the one side. The roof had a pitch of seven degrees, so we've got our degree, and the shed was to be made eight meters wide from the front to the back. So we're looking at the side of the shed. Calculate the increase in height of H of the shed from the front up to the back to the nearest meter. Okay, so we go 10, O over H. So our opposite is going to be, so they want to know the increase in the height. So they want to know this here, okay? And we know that we have got a, um, we've got our degrees and we know that we've got a, our line here. So this line here will be our adjacent. So O is here. That could be our x, so we're going to go 8 times tan 7, that's our degrees, put that into your calculator, equals, and that will give you the answer of how much that h is, so many meters, so make sure you've got meters. All right, the Mitchell River Steel Company convinced Kate and John that a triangular frame would be a stronger, more resistant roof structure. This is a scale drawing of the plan of Mitchell River Steel suggested for Kate and John's shed. Okay. So this is their shed. That's their door. They've got two roller doors in the front that you can see. This is north, and they're saying that the scale is drawn from 1 to 100. Okay, so the shed is two roller doors. What is the width of each one? So this is the length here. Okay. What is the width of each roller door? So here you've got a roller door. Here you've got a roller door. <clears throat> Tells you it's 2,700 centimeters or it'd be 2.7 meters so you can put that but this diagram shows the side elevation or the side view of the shed is this elevation showing the eastern or western end of the shed so have a look we when we were looking it said it's the side view if we go back there was a side door here this is north okay and if we can see the side door the north south this is east that's west this will be the western view right what is the height of the outside wall of the shed so the outside wall of the shed there you go there is your height put that in what is the height of the roof at the shed in the middle of the shed so now they want to know what this is here okay so we know what this is there because we've got four meters over here can you see there's four meters and they want to know what the height of the roof is. So they want to know what this is here. <clears throat> so we've got, and we've got our, we've got 4.3 all the way up to there, and we've got 3.6 all the way there. So what we can do is we can say 4.3 take 3.6, and that'll give us how many meters it is. So I want you to do that, please. <clears throat> right. To what degree is the increase in height from the outside wall to? So they want to know what this degree is here. Okay, so we know this is four, and we know what this is over here because we just worked it out. So we go tan is equal to O over A, and then we go 0 0.7, so our opposite is here, our adjacent is there. So 0 0.7 over four, and then we're doing tan dash one because we want to know what the degree is, 0 0.7 divided by four equals, and it says, and then bring it to the nearest whole number with a degree sign on it. All beautiful I want you to show me this but the builders first job is to level the site for the shell sheds 12 meter by 8 meter concrete slab the surveyor measured a fall in the land so it dips down of 420 millimeters over the 8 meter section to be leveled what is 420 millimeters in meters now if we move our decimal place once we get centimeters and if we move it two more times we get meters so it looks 0.42. Right. There you go. 0.42. Okay. Calculate the size of angle A. Answer to the correct degree. So we've got over here and we've got here. This is adjacent. This is opposite. So that's going to be 10. Our opposite is 420 over 8. Oh, we've got to change our 420 to meters. So we said there was 0.42. So 0 0.42 divided by 8. Remember, this is going to be 10-1. 1. 
0 0.42 divided by 8, get our answer, bring it to the nearest degree, and make sure you put your degree sign. Number five, using Pythagoras, calculate to two decimal places how long each diagonal shall be if the angles are right angles. Oh, I haven't read the first part. Okay, so uh, the foreman had to check that the slab had right angles in each corner. So they want to know that these are right angles here. Okay, so we're going to use Pythagoras. So Pythagoras, remember, is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So this would be a squared, b squared, and we're going to find out what that is as c squared. So we've got 12 squared plus 8 squared equals c squared. Make sure you write that in. Now in your calculator, I want you to work out what 12 squared is. Write it over here, plus work out what 8 squared is, and get yourself an answer. And let's check if you're right. Okay. Now we're going to do the square root of 208. And you're going to put your answer in to two decimal places with your meter sign. Right, that's it, chickens. Awesome.